G'day, one MJ here, and welcome back to my channel. Well, I put this tweet out a little bit earlier, but you'll have to forgive my spelling. Uh, I forgot to put a T in there, but basically it says, I am so bullish on Bitcoin and crypto in general. Grayscale alone purchased 150% of all Bitcoin mined for I think about the first half of this year, and MicroStrategy just bought 21,000 Bitcoin. Watch this space. So if you're not following me on Twitter, go over ahead and follow me on Twitter. I try to tweet fairly regularly and put out uh, just information and also, you know, if I'm making a trade or anything like that. So go over ahead uh, and give me a follow uh, if you're onto Twitter. But basically, this is why I'm so bullish and I think this uh, Bitcoin bull run uh, is possibly going to be something that no one can wrap their heads around. We've never had so much interest and in so much Bitcoin being bought up before, at least not that I'm aware of. I can't remember a time where there were months in a row where someone was buying up 150% of all the Bitcoin mine for any one period. I think Grayscale now own about 1%, maybe even a little bit more of all the Bitcoin that's currently available, 1%. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but when, <laughs> but when you own 1% of all Bitcoin uh, and there's only 21 million in total and they believe maybe 4 million of them are missing, uh, it's quite a lot. And then again, micro strategy to come in and buy 21,000 uh, Bitcoin. Sp they spent 250 million to buy it up. And watch, there's other companies that are going to be doing it right now and other hedge funds. We just haven't heard this information yet. It hasn't been um, you know, provided to the public. I, I'm starting to get a feeling that we're going to see some absolutely astronomical prices from cryptocurrencies in this bull run. And yeah, I can't even, you know, I, I can't say exactly what I think it's going to be, but I'm going to go out and take a guess that uh, Plan B's estimate of $288,000 per Bitcoin, I think that might be eclipsed in this bull run. I, I actually believe it might be eclipsed. You know, the interesting thing will be, let's say it goes to 300, 350,000, and I'm not saying it will be, I just have a feeling it might. If it goes to, let's say, 350,000 per Bitcoin, I wonder what the low will be after it. Because, you know, initially I was thinking there's that gap at 9,000, sort of 600, that that might be the low. I couldn't imagine it'll go down that low, and especially with all the institutional money now. Uh, you know, if it gets to let's say sort of three hundred thousand, I'll be surprised if we ever see Bitcoin again, really under about maybe fifty thousand, and possibly even a hundred thousand, depending on just how high it goes. You know, with with so many people, uh, you know, yet to even get into Bitcoin, and no real full institutional adoption. As I've said before, I think the real big institutional adoption is going to happen once Bitcoin goes over 20,000. Uh, it, it's that old psyche, and, and it's funny, it goes completely against trading. Uh, you know, Warren Buffett said it the best, you need to be greedy when people are fearful, and you need to be fearful when people are greedy. So basically, when everyone else is selling off and panicking, that's really about the time that you should think about buying. Now, not straight away, you've obviously got to find uh, the point where the trend changes, where the sell-off has stopped and people start to, uh, it flattens out, that's when you want to get in. And when everyone's telling you, you know, buy this and buy that, that's probably the time that you want to get out uh, and take some profits. So yeah, I'm super bullish at the moment. But let's go and have a look. 376 billion. Again, it was 357 billion and not that long ago. It got up to 366 billion, then it back dropped back down to 350 something billion, and now we're up to 376 billion. And this is just rising and rising. And in particular at the moment, have a look at ETH. It is skyrocketing now. The gas prices are still high, and that's an issue. And I am really worried for uh, ETH in the you know short to midterm if they can't fix uh, those scaling issues. But at the moment, the price is skyrocketing. You know, we're really struggling with that four hundred dollar level, and now we've just smashed straight through it. And you know, who knows where it's going to go from here? But I am concerned because we've you know things have been traveling well for a while. I have a gut feeling that we're going to possibly have a bit of a weekend pullback. And I did find um, an interesting article that kind of, you know, at least may support my theory. We might not. We'll have to wait and see. But Friday pullback, biggest Bitcoin mining pool sends 800 BC, BCT, so Bitcoin, to Binance. 
So basically, you know, with prices at eleven thousand seven hundred, they're feeling like that's some pretty that's some pretty good prices for Bitcoin. Uh, and you know, if they sell off all eight hundred of those Bitcoin, uh, I think you can expect to see prices, uh, you know, retrace uh, somewhat. Exactly where I'm not sure. You know, that, that's hard to know. Uh, but yeah, this is what I'm looking for. You know, the last two weekends we've had, we didn't get too much of a pullback, but I think about three weekends ago, or maybe even four, but I know it was sort of within the last month, we had that fairly uh, decent one where it kind of pulled back heavy on the Saturday night, sort of Sunday morning. So we'll have to wait and see. But let's go uh, ahead and have a look at the ETH chart for a minute. So the ETH chart uh, is looking quite amazing have a look at that it's just been on quite a run and then we even got that side of sideways movement for a while so we traded sideways for i think it was nearly a week so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then we had that kind of breakout so again you know a little bit over a week trade sideways and then we've had another breakout again but i do think we're going to get a pullback uh, at some stage whether it's you know in the near future who knows but what i want to do is zoom out a little bit and it's probably not going to do it no it will oh, awesome all right let's have a look where our next kind of resistance uh, point might be so as we can see once we break this $400 mark we're already you know sort of above this so really it might be around about here so the $520 mark is where we might sort of start to get a bit of a pullback and if not there then really we're kind of jumping straight up to here. So that's around the $820, $850 mark or $830. So we should see some fairly steep jumps uh, if we continue to go the, the way we are again. Maybe around about here, that kind of 500-ish level around there, 520. Uh, but if we get through that 520, then chances are that we're probably going to jump up to again around this $830 mark pretty quick. And then, really, it's not too much. There's, you know, there's a tiny bit here at nine hundred and sort of seventy dollars, uh, and then again, then we're really just starting to go into uncharted territory. We get to that uh, all-time high, so very interesting for Ethereum. Uh, and there's not even any point in uh, comparing Ethereum to BTC at the moment. I'd rather do it with the US dollar because. Uh, Ethereum is well outpacing uh, Bitcoin at the moment. That's not to say Bitcoin won't, you know, get up and, you know, make a big massive move of its own because it absolutely still could. But I think Ethereum uh, at the moment, uh, it's better just to compare it to uh, the US dollar at the moment because it's just simply outpacing uh, Bitcoin. And I think it has uh, all this year. Uh, well, not all this year, but definitely of late anyway. But let's also go have a look at Bitcoin. So as we can see, we had a bit of a move uh, from Bitcoin. And then really, uh, similar to Ethereum, we've been trading sideways for a while. You know, we had that initial breakout, just like uh, Ethereum did over here, had its initial breakout. And then it's been trading sideways for a little while. But Ethereum uh, is kind of following Bitcoin a little bit, or maybe even a little bit ahead. But uh, again, this is the Bitcoin one at the moment. So we had this big pump. And then it kind of just traded sideways for a day or two. We had another big pump and then that big correction sideways. And we've really just been struggling to kind of break over this sort of $12,000 mark. And again, at the moment, I'm waiting to see, but we're forming a wedging pattern right here. So we'll just have to wait and see, are we going to break out to the top side and finally, you know, get up to that $12,500 mark? Or are we going to break out, break to the lower side, and maybe come back and sort of test eleven thousand again, maybe even ten and a half thousand? But you know, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't tell you, but I do have a suspicion that we might see a bit of a uh, pullback over the weekend, and it might be just a pullback kind of to come back down and uh, test this kind of line of resistance down here. So maybe the eleven thousand three hundred. We'll just have to wait and see. But anyway. That's it from me today. So I hope everyone's, you know, doing all right. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't. Again, there's my Twitter handle. Go over ahead and give me a follow. I'll try to put out fairly regular content. But stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on that gain train. And I'll see you next time.